Hey cuties and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today I am back in Creator Sim creating this absolutely adorable sim. As always you can find links to everything I have used on this sim on a Google Doc or my Tumblr. Links to both are in the description down below. As you can see we jumped straight into this. I usually show you guys how I create like the face how I pick out skin details for the sim and trust me I wanted to record that and I thought I was but unfortunately I was recording the voiceover screen or scene in my OBS so I wasn't actually recording any video footage <laughs> which was extremely frustrating and I luckily figured that out like after I created her whole face and gave her skin details. Luckily I didn't notice like you know even later than that but I kind of thought about it for a second if I don't want to show you this video and instead create another sim but this sim came out so gorgeous that I was like I can't like I just cannot not show her to you. <laughs> like, I think she's absolutely adorable. I I don't know, she's one of my favorite sims I have ever created and I was like, I can't not let you be part of this. <laughs> you need to see this. So, you know, you see everything with like the outfits, with the body, with like everything else. It's just the face and skin details that aren't included in this video because I was a dum-dum and recorded a voiceover instead of actually recording my screen. Oh my god, I was so frustrated when I noticed I was like so out of it also got a vaccine yesterday not for the big C just some other stuff and I felt really bad yesterday otherwise the video would have gone up today so apologies for that I just had to rest I could not do it anymore I was like pretty much almost done I mean the voiceover that you're hearing now is like one of the only things I had left to do but I just could not I felt so awful I just dragged myself around and like it just it wasn't good so I knew that I couldn't upload it but you know it's here today also my sister literally just had her baby three hours ago which I am so excited about I she told us or right, her her boyfriend her partner um we haven't actually talked to her which is it makes sense she had a baby <laughs> but um he told us last night that the contractions have started now like every five to eight minutes now that was like around 11 p.m he said and he messaged us around midnight to 1 a.m i was luckily still awake and you know we just texted back and forth a tiny bit and then this morning we have these places where you can have your babies there's just house not how house, not housewives why would i say housewives <laughs> there's just midwives there i don't think there is or maybe there's one doctor but they don't do c-sections or anything there you know it's just for having babies so it's not like a hospital um they are like working with hospitals though so in case a woman who's having a baby does have to go to hospital you know you can do so but you get to know all of the midwives and everyone there before your birth so it's kind of a bit more familiar than a hospital would be a bit more personal than a hospital would be so he said this morning her, my sister's partner told us that they're on their way there now and that was around like 11 no, not around 11, around like 8 a.m. or something like that. So I met my mom for breakfast this morning and she was absolutely so nervous. Like, <laughs> Jesus. I was just like, it's gonna be fine, you know, because she's like, why haven't they messaged yet? I hope everything's all right. And I was like, it's gonna be fine. We also went and got like some balloons and stuff to put in front of their apartment door just to welcome the new baby. And then like an hour ago ish so like two hours after he was born um they messaged us or her partner did rather <laughs> she looked very exhausted in the picture also got one video and he just looks so perfect like oh i'm gonna tear up again i like saw him and i just had to cry <laughs> and i know those of you who are aunts and uncles or have a baby yourself i'm sure you know the feeling i was like i literally looked at him and i was like how can i love you this much without ever having met you like i literally just looked at a picture of him and i was like yep nope <laughs> there's like so much love for this little thing and and I'm just so excited. I'm like so proud of my sister. It was her first baby. So obviously was, you know, um, a lot. She wasn't 
too nervous to be honest like I thought she would be way more nervous and like all throughout the pregnancy to be honest because she's kind of like an overthinker similar to me but like think a step ahead of me you know she's like even more of an overthinker um love to tell this story when we were younger she wanted to buy like a is it is it called powder I don't know for your face that you put on after your foundation and she ordered like 10 different samples in like 10 different colors and then she put all of that on her well everyone on her face separately obviously and then she took a picture of her face indoors and outdoors to see what color fit best <laughs> and you know going from that story and knowing her I was like oh my god she's gonna be so stressed throughout her pregnancy I was so worried that like whenever there was just the tiniest thing she would like work herself up and get very worried and I was like I really don't want that for her and she has done so well like she's had such a great pregnancy um barely any like obviously she felt exhausted towards the end and like tired but you know barely like too many bad side effects that women experience during their pregnancy so I'm very grateful for for that and obviously the birth uh, must have taken about like 14 15 hours which I've heard a lot worse so I'm just very proud of her that she got it done and she got through it and she was like very cool calm and collected haven't talked to her yet obviously so I don't know how it really was I'm sure she will tell us eventually but I'm just so happy for her and her partner and for like the whole family and I'm just so excited to meet the little guy I know that it's gonna be a while because I think my sister and her partner they just want to kind of come home and like obviously be a family first and you know introduce the baby to new people with like a bit of time in between so he can just arrive <laughs> and be exist you know get used to it and there's obviously like so many different things like if you are just born it must be mind-blowing like everything is just so new like it's just crazy and it's not like we ever think about that really but um, yeah she said it might take a few days or weeks until she wants to have visitors I obviously said I'm like there if she needs anything like shopping or whatever I could would just buy and put it in front of their door I really don't mind um, but yeah I'm just excited for like when she is ready to meet the little guy and just over the moon happy I'm just ah so grateful that everything went well and I'm just proud of her honestly I'm <laughs> just a proud little sister <laughs> and I can't wait I can't believe I'm an aunt it's so surreal still I have a feeling that it will still be surreal for a while even after I've met him I feel like it will be surreal it's probably just something you have to get used to kind of like grow into the role of being an aunt and last in my last video I actually talked about it and asked for advice and someone just put such a nice comment that honestly made me tear up because they just I don't know everything they said was so beautiful about like the advice they would give me and I felt it so much as like everything they said was like what I think a perfect aunt or parent even would be and it just made me tear up I don't know I've been very emotional these last few days okay and like when we all speculated about when my sister would deliver her baby we were all saying different days the due date was like I think four days ago now and I was like I think he's gonna be delivered on Tuesday I just had that gut feeling and then when they said it started last night I was like oh my god I was right <laughs> you know unless the birth would have taken very long which I would have felt so bad for my sister if she would have been in labor for over 24 hours like women are such troopers honestly women who deliver babies and have a very long birth I don't I don't know such troopers honestly and I'm just so happy I, I don't know I don't know what to say I literally cried so much when I got the news because I was just so excited and I'm just so ready for auntie life um being an aunt I feel like is really cool I don't know <laughs> I don't know why but I just I just love it and I also and joked around with my sister because I'm getting a new foster cat on Saturday and I was like who do you think is going to be here first the cat or the baby and like I think that she kind of thought that the baby was going to come very late because he just kind of took his time she thought but you know um, only a few days after the due date and I'm just I'm just excited honestly that's all I can say and then whilst being this excited I also get to share this sim with you today who I think is absolutely gorgeous I love her outfits I don't know I just there's something about her where I'm like I love her she's so cute I'm so excited to have created her and with the hair color as well I didn't know what I wanted to go for if I wanted to go for dark or light I originally wanted to go for like a darker brown but whenever I use this blonde or like white blonde platinum blonde whatever you want to call it I'm just like oh, 
it's so gorgeous and it looked so good with her dark eyes and I am just obsessed. I hope you like her as much as I do. <laughs> I definitely want to know what your favorite outfit of today was. I really enjoyed the everyday wear and the party wear as always. Party wear is just where it's at for me but the everyday wear I thought was so cute as well. I don't know, I felt like a lot of the pastel colors looked really good on her but so did, I don't know, I felt like every color looked good on her so it was very fun to create outfits for her because I could really just play around with so many different things so let me know how you like the sim let me know what your favorite outfit of today was and with that said the video is coming to an end here i did give her like I think the book lover trade may be good, something else that I can't remember, but I kind of had in mind that she's just this really calm spirit. I think she really loves being at home and reading. I think that's what she wants her career to be in as well, like something to do with books. And I also think she loves being at home and therefore loves having like a really nice home. So I gave her that aspiration where you want like a perfect mansion to live in because I could really see her live in like a really cute house. But yes, <laughs> video is coming to and hand, hand to an end. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next time. Bye! Ooh,